All right, guys, let's do this. We're going to install CM12 on the Moto G 3rd Gen. So just so you can see what I'm working with right here, go to About Phone. This is the Moto G 3rd Gen. Mine is um, model XT1540. Right now, I'm currently on Android 5.1.1, which is the, basically the firmware that comes with the device. There's my build number right down there. And now, to get Saigen mod installed on this device, there's two prerequisites you're going to have to do. Number one is going to be unlock the bootloader. I'll put a little link to it right up here. Number two is going to be install twerp recovery. I have a video on that also. I'll put a little link up right up there. And once you've done these two videos, you should be good to go and ready to rock with installing Saigen mod 12. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to download two files. And um, right now this is an unofficial, but from what I've seen, it works flawlessly pretty much. So very few bugs. Um, I can link you guys to the link on XDA. So right here is the file I've got right there. It is CM 12.1 unofficial. This is from 2015, August 24th. So just uh, yesterday or two days ago. And then you're going to have the Google applications. I'll link you to some of those as well. So that file and that file. Here's SuperSue if you want to use it to... Um, get SuperSU installed instead of using CM's uh, root access application, which is built in. So if you want that, there it is. I download that also. I'll give you links to all this stuff, so no big deal. All right, we've got this all installed. Let's go ahead and power off our device. So hold the power down. There we go. And then what we want to do is we want to boot into bootloader mode. So once the device off, we're going to hold our volume up and down hold power and this should boot us into bootloader mode which it did I pushed the button there so from here you're going to use up and down to scroll so we're going to go to restart bootloader recovery mode see that and hit um, power to select that now you can see my device has unlocked bootloader status code 3 um, that's because I unlocked the bootloader again you're going to have to do that first to get this installed but I have videos on it so um, reboot to recovery. We're going to reboot to twerp recovery, which we had already installed in previous videos. So there you go. There's the warning bootloader unlocked. You're going to have this on your screen once you've unlocked your bootloader. Every boot you will see it unless you replace it, which I may do a video on that, maybe. So, all right, here we go. We're in twerp recovery. So this is very awesome. Um, both Twerp and Saijinmod um, have been put together by a developer on XDA, so definitely give him some thumbs ups in this uh, in the post I'll link you to. So definitely do that. First thing you guys are going to want to do is come in here to go to backups, and uh, I would select everything. Da -da -da. Then you can go in here to um, internal or external storage, whichever you want, or OTG, which is very cool, and pick where you want to store it. You can come up here and pick the name of the backup. This is default. So then hit go, and then you want to swipe across to generate your first Android backup. This is very important. If the install goes badly, you're going to need to have that to be able to restore your device. So go ahead and swipe it and let this thing finish. All right, I'm going to skip this because I'll just use a uh, RSD Lite file or a firmware file to restore my device if I need to. But I would highly recommend this and definitely create your first Android backup. So I'm going to go ahead and click back. And the next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to wipe our device to give us a clean slate for installing SciGenMod. So we'll go to Wipes. And just do the normal wipe. So this will wipe data factory reset your device. Hit Back. Back again. Then we're going to go to Installs. We're going to select, it actually is in the folder already. Mine's in uh, SD Card Downloads. We're going to select SciGenMod. We're going to go Add More Zips. We're going to select the Google Applications. And that's it. So two of ten files max. I'm going to go ahead and swipe across, and this will install Saijin Mod on my Moto G 3rd Gen. I'm really excited for this ROM just because of the fact that it's Saijin Mod, and honestly, the Moto G 3rd Gen has been an awesome device for me. I've really loved it, and it's worked really, really well. And this is just bringing it to a whole new level with their built-in theme engine and customization of Saijin Mod, along with just the support. It's an excellent uh, support for Saijin Mod um, on many, many devices. So this install shouldn't take too long. This is a pretty quick device. Um, and right now you can see it's patching system images. 
unconditionally. Interesting. Um, I'm going to flip it over really quick to show you mine. Mine's the blue one right here. Um, I built this on Moto Maker. Absolutely love Moto Maker. That was a lot of fun. So blue, black accent, black front. Really awesome device. Oh, look at that. So the ROM's installed. We're now installing the Google applications, and they're done. So we are rocking. So from here, just going to go reboot system, and we should have our first initial boot up of Saijin Mod. So hopefully a really cool boot animation here in a second once we get off our bootloader warning. Like I said, I'll probably do a video on how to remove this. You just got to change the logo bin um, and flash a new one. So there you go, Saijin Mod. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and let this thing boot up. I'll do initial setup on it, and then I'm going to show you guys Saijin Mod on the Moto G 3rd Gen. So the initial uh, boot up here is taking about eh, five minutes, something like that, because it had to do the Android is upgrading, optimizing all the applications um, and the boot animation, obviously. So here we go. Um, just going to go ahead and do this really quickly. Let me do my setup. All right, boys, here it is. It's just brought the Moto G to a whole nother level with Saige and Mod installed. Oh, man, am I excited for this. I might just put this thing back as my daily driver. I used it for quite a couple weeks and really no reason to leave it, honestly, um, except for I just want to test out new devices. So um, here you go. This is uh, Saige and Mod. It's really nice. Basic uh, setup. From what I understand, this is fully functional. Um, nothing messed up on it whatsoever. Ooh, that's kind of cool. When I scroll really fast, it goes dark, though. It's a little interesting. Oh, it's so the letters pop out. Oh, that's cool. Very interesting. So there's your app drawer. Obviously, your toggles right here. Um, Audio FX, hotspot. I'm not sure what that one is. That's interesting. Flashlight. You can see does function. Um, SIM cards, because I just don't have a SIM in it right now. I'm sure that I know that that is functional does uh, pick up networks fine. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's, oh, oh, wow. It's like a brightness mode. Hmm, haven't seen that before. Night, in, outdoors, automatic, off. Hmm, cool, interesting. That's a new toggle for me. Uh, maybe that's something new in Saijin mod. So anyway, let's uh, scroll in here into uh, settings. And just check it out, mobile network information right there, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, sound, standard stuff, themes. This is the best part about Saijima, in my opinion. The theme engine is amazing. So I've got themes, lock screens, swipe to unlock, setting up your lock screen stuff, buttons, left hand, right hand. Hmm, let's see something. Place navigation buttons on the left side of the screen. In landscape mode. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Show arrows when it's typing. So there's there's quite a few settings right here. Um, button layout. Reset default edit. Oh, so here you can change these now. I can move them around. Oh, very cool. Add ones or not. Save. So there you go. I just switched switched my back button around. Very nice. Power menu. Excellent screenshot. I like reboot menu. Now, see, this used to be in developer options, so this is interesting for me. Sound panel, no, I'm not going to worry about that one. So now if you hold down your button, you have reboot. Oh, it just does reboot. So you still have to do reboot to recovery in developer options. So we'll, we'll check that too. So besides all this, you really need to know how to turn on root access mode. That's probably one of the most important things. Status bar tweaks. There's just tons of tweaks here in settings. So we're going to go in here, go to our build number right there, build date. So oh, not build date, any build number. So keep tapping it until you enable developer options. And then we're going to come back here. We're going to go to developer options. We're going to turn on advanced reboot. We're going to turn on root access disabled. We're going to say apps and ADB. Okay. Um, update, side gen, oh, we don't have a side gen recovery right now. USB debugging, turn that on. And now we should have root access mode set up and rocking. So that's pretty awesome. Let's just see really quickly. It doesn't add anything in here for root access that I'm seeing. I thought it, maybe it did. 
policies. No. Whisper push. There's a there's a lot in here. Saijimon's awesome because it's just so full of stuff. So let's just try and see. Let's see here. We go into our applications. Is there a terminal built into this thing right now? I want to see if I can try something. And there's not. But we can go into file manager. And okay. We should be able to get into a root access mode in here at some point. So do 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 access safe mode. We're gonna say prompts for root access. Oh there it is. Privacy guard. Allow it. Allow it. There you go. So now that proves root access is working on our device. And actually you can see there is a well there was right up there. Ooh, that's interesting. There's a little uh hashtag up there. Um I wonder what's up with that. That's that's unique too. I mean I gotta play with Saijin mod more. I don't know what that's about up there on top. That's an interesting notification icon. It just maybe means you're in uh, or your phone has root right now. I'm not sure. Had to play with that some more. Um, yeah, definitely excited to play with this phone and mess around with side gem on some more. Uh, if you guys are interested in more videos on installing ROMs, let me know. I haven't done any in a while. So, you know, if this is something you'd like to see more of, please uh, give me a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video here and a little overview, of cm 12.1 on the moto g third gen please give me a thumbs up and uh, it's going to wrap it up for me today on the moto g we'll catch you guys in the next one root junkie out all right guys i just had to show you this i was just super excited so i was looking at it some more and it has gestures so we have the twist to turn on the camera. Yes, it still functions. It's just, I, I, I just love when ROMs, especially Saijin Mod, maintains the features of the phone. It's amazing. So love it. Okay? Love it. You also have the chop feature. If I can do it. Turn on the camera or the, the, the light. Turn it off. So, um, pulse notifications when you wave across the screen, pick up pulses and notifications. It still has the features of the Moto G. That is amazing to me. Um, just, yes, right on. That is how you create a custom ROM. Love it. Nice work. Peace out.